Kelly Canyon. Nice. Sunny day. And the base area almost looks like a western town. All right. I meant to say uh, uh, an old, uh, old western, wild west town. Yeah. Anyway, here's a express lift. And then at the other end of town, there is yet another lift there in the distance. Well, quite a vast expanse of terrain, and that's just on this one lift. This is the uh, uh, north side of the mountain, which means that the lifts going up are actually heading straight into the sun. <laughs> I arrived a bit late in the day again. I, I just had to sleep in. I was really tired, muscles hurting and everything, but still, I'm finding powder stashes here still, and uh, and the snow is really light because uh, it's been cold. I think it's been about well, at nighttime it maybe went down to 15 or less, but uh, now in the daytime it's about 19 or 20 degrees Fahrenheit. For example, I skied this little hill. So there are four chair lifts here, of which only two are operating today. This is a Friday. I guess on weekends, especially busy weekends, they fire up the the other chairs too. Um, some of the older ones. In fact, I'm riding one of the older chairs right now, and uh, this is supposed to be a double. And. Uh, I am a little overweight, but I'm not terribly fat. But look at this, people people used to be slimmer in the old days, I guess. Um, there's a, a bit of room on one side and a bit of room on the other. And maybe if I scoot up, there will be more room. But um, <laughs> yes, you gotta be slim to ride this uh, two, two chairs, two people at a time. There's certainly a lot of terrain here and uh, Beside every groomed run, there's also something ungroomed and interesting. And the snow is really good. So there's the main chair going all the way to the top. And then here's a secondary chair. Here are three generations of lifts. That's a really old dismantled one. And then over here, we have a double chair whose end is right here at this cabin. Today being Friday, there have been a lot of uh, empty chairs, but even on occasion when, uh, when all the chairs are filled up, there's never a lift line. People just arise, slide, slide into the lift and, and go. Uh, but it's a good thing that they have some spare lifts that they activate on busy weekends or holidays because um, this place is relatively close to, I mean, it's just a little over half an hour to, um, to uh, Idaho Falls. And then there's a bunch of smaller towns too, uh, like uh, Rigby and Ryrie and Rexburg. There are so many powder runs here, like this one, or under the old chair, and down into this gully. And then there's this little run here, and right under the chair, and then you can choose from that run out, or this run out, or how about here? Line? What line? There ain't no line. No line to order food. And then plenty of room to sit. Oh, and it's a room with a great view. Most uh, smaller ski areas in Idaho that I visited do not have soup. 
mainly just hamburgers. But here, delicious soup. Mmm. Potato soup. Idaho. And um, this by itself elevates uh, Kelly Canyon to a five-star resort for my taste. <laughs> Kelly Canyon is great in many ways. Powder, good slopes, a variety. It's just fantastic. We're in a variety of terrain. And best of all, for those of us who are coming from afar to visit, uh, Kelly Canyon is part of the Indy Pass. The Indy Pass is basically a cooperation between uh, a variety of independent ski areas not owned by corporations, but by skiers, for skiers. Yeah, so come on here while the Indy Pass is still valid at Kelly Canyon. I love it.